Hello everyone, welcome on back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Six Cents Six Sack for the month of October 2023. And I've also got some other Six Cents lures down here. Uh, I actually got these through Dick Sporting Goods. They had a buy three, get three free sale. So we'll get into that after we break into this month's sack. So I'm going to just go ahead and reach in here at random, see what we got this month. First up, looks like we've got a Mini 25MD Crush, one of my favorite mid-diving small body crankbaits. This is in the Spanish pearl color. This weighs a quarter ounce and dives four to seven feet. Put this out so you can see it up close. It's going to be a nice white shad bait fish imitation. A little bit of a pearlescent coat to it. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera. All right. Next up, we've got a Hyper Jerk 70 jerk bait. This is in the 4K shad color. Come in at 70 millimeters and weighing 3 eighths of an ounce. You notice, unlike a lot of conventional jerk baits this one actually does not have a lip so it's kind of like a lipless version of a hard jerk bait nice dress treble there on the back kind of get that harder one knock type sound to it Next up, we've got a Crush Flat 75X, flat side crankbaits in this colder water this time of year are great. Uh, this color is called Gorge Gill. Don't think I've got any others in this exact bluegill pattern, but I do really, really like the bluegill patterns from Sixth Sense. In fact, that's one of the things that I first kind of gravitated toward um, with six cents baits, I was looking for some more realistic bluegill patterns because the majority of the areas I fish have bluegill as the main forage. And that's really what got me hooked with six cents, as you can see. Extremely lifelike and realistic bluegill patterns, especially for a stock bait. You know, at the time, a few years back, you're starting to see more of that now, but. A few years back, really, Six Cents, I think, was about the only ones really doing it consistently on, on a production bait. Next up, we've got the Axle Hybrid Jig. So it's got that swinging hook uh, style jig we've seen a few times previously on the swim jig. This one being the hybrid jig, you can swim this or um, you can just pitch and flip this as well. It's got that hybrid style head. It's got that screw lock keeper. It's going to help keep those soft plastics on there. Uh, this is 3 8 of an ounce. And looks like this is an exclusive color for the sack. Green pumpkin black. So I do see some black strands in there. It's got a black head and then that green pumpkin on that skirt as well all right next up i feel some soft plastics here looks like we've got the prawn 4.2 this is in bluegrass magic so it looks like this has got sort of a green pumpkin blue flake on one side and sort of a pearlescent blue with some blue flake on the other. Pull these out so you can see these in a little bit better detail. I do like this prawn in the colder months. In the uh, Those appendages aren't going to have a whole lot of action. Early spring, late fall. If you're going to be pitching and flipping, throwing a Texas rig, this is the kind of bait that you want to have. Alright, 
We've also got some four aught ox flipping hooks uh, to pair with those soft plastics as well. And last bait, certainly not the least, we've got a curve finesse square bill. This will dive one to three foot. It's 55 millimeters, weighs three eighths of an ounce. And this is in the shad burst color. Close. It's got that nice green back into sort of a chrome and white side. Really nice finesse, shallow square bill. So that's the sack for this month. All in all, I think it's a pretty solid one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be throwing all of these. All right, so Dick's had the six cents baits, buy three, get three free. So I've got six of these fast sink, uh, six inch trace swim baits. They all weigh two ounces. Uh, this first one here is the Cajun bluegill. As you can see there, it's a real nice bluegill pattern. All right, there's the bone pearl. As you can see, they all say fast sink right there on the bottom. Uh, next up, we've got the Shad Burst. burst color I think that could be a pretty good baby bass imitation as well next up we have tilapia Now, none of the waters that I fish actually have tilapia, but if you look at the color on this, it's actually reminiscent, I think, a bit of some bluegill, even a crappie or a bass as well. So I feel like that could look like some other forage that I've got around in my area. Of course, I had to get the gillikin color. Excellent bluegill imitation. Pop this one open real quick so you can see. Amazing dark green pumpkin. I love the little red fleck accents in there as well. And last but not least, we've got Live Shiner. I think it's a pretty interesting color. It's got some gold and silver sides with a blue back. So yeah, pick those up as well. I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the recent subscribers that have been coming on board over the past week or so. Really appreciate you guys coming on. We're just a few subscribers away from hitting that 600 subscriber milestone and being able to do that next giveaway. So if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future content that I have coming out. I really appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.